Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Recently I did a video on my work van setup with the Milwaukee Packouts. So I added a couple more pieces. And let me just show you what I did. So right out the back, we did uh, the two drawer system right here in the middle. Now, yeah, I know to, if we have to get to anything in the bottom here, you know, we got to unstack all this stuff. But I keep, you know, tools that usually don't need I told mostly extra tools in the bottom there so we don't I don't need have to use them every day so that's why that they all stay in the bottom there it's like an overflow box so right in here you know come in there open it up you know we've got our drills drivers all of our bits in this drawer, we got our pin nailer, hacksaw, copper cutter, pro press, flashlight, all packs in there nicely. Then on the top, that's our uh, M18 drills and drivers. And this box, we got our right angle drill, our sander, our roto zip, um, grinder, stuff like that. And then in the, that bottom one is just extra nail guns. Um, you can see tool belt of the day. That's a diamond back. The, the artisan the miter and the eagle. Great setup. Love it. But I put it on a six inch tool belt because we all know that's what it should have came on in the first place. We got a little light that hangs in the back here. You know, makes it easy when it's dark. Just flip the switch, turn it on. You can see things. Uh, chop box. All of our cords the back here I'll make it easy just to grab that stuff on this side hose for draining water heaters stuff like that got some shims and stuffed in there marking flags blower hangs out there kind of just gets smushed in there it doesn't move it's in there nice <clears throat> all right coming along here batteries picked up these cool battery uh hangouts deal here they were cheap i think it was like 15 bucks and from amazon maybe even cheaper than that i'm not sure on this side i got the similar situation with the 18 volts you know these were also from amazon just screwed them on there all right then on on the right here we got our two drawer assembly and our three drawer unit situation with a case on the top and then two smaller cases on the bottom and then the top drawer we got hand tools etc sorted hand tools more hand tools more miscellaneous stuff with the laser saws all blades this stuff it's very easy to get to this stuff with these drawers i mean these are great i love them and the two drawer and you don't have to take anything down just pop this down you know pull out open the drawer you know fine tool blades router router bits you know Craig stuff. Table saw, vacuum, plumbing bag, plumbing fittings in those crates. Extra cutoffs. Uh, DeWalt table, table saw, stand, uh, stage. That's the trim belt setup. That's the Diamondback Mazo with the hammer sleeve and the um, the flux on the other side. You got the the light over there for extra light in the air. Corks, glues, cleaning products, respirator, tape, laser stands up there. Knee pads and gloves. It's the longer levels, framing levels, extendo levels, clamps, framing nailer, 
kind of like a catch-all for plumbing stuff. Chop saw stand on, on these brackets I picked up from Home Depot. And I got all these fitting cases, screw cases, mollies, you know, this one's sock sockets. This is all PVC fittings, two inch and inch and a half PVC fittings. Got PEX fittings, I got PEX um, all like Mickey Mouse clamps and straps and hinge stuff all, all assorted hinges and screws and magnets and a bunch of different random stuff um it's all organized in there i swear um this is the plumbing bag you know glue primer flux channel locks um easy out band iron the torch in there you know, for when we do need to solder. But most of the time, it's all um, pro pressing now. And I got some more screw cases down there. Got another case down there with the um, ram set, hole saw bag, power plane bag, radio. Rags, iron, gloves, edge banding, uh, skill saw is always right there, it's just easy to get to, mini blower, charger, these are the nail guns that I use the most, so they're just easily accessible, I don't have to unstack anything, just come on the shelf and grab them. That's the stapler, 18 volt, six, 18 gauge, 16 gauge, radio, hammer drill. Um, just a hand tool, catch all. No drop cloths, broom. That's the Metobo metal connector nailer. And just random cutoffs down there, you know, for when you just need a short piece of something. You don't want to run out to the store. So yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, Milwaukee makes this stuff really, really nice and easy, and it's very modular. And you can pretty much use it anywhere. You know, I see guys use them in the back of their pickup trucks, in their garages, you know, on job site, you know, in the storage, um closets or whatever but let me guys let me know what you guys think uh show me your setups you know what what, what could you what would you guys do differently uh, on mine you know i like to try to be as organized as possible it just it just makes it easier to find everything you know and then not only that it's you know it's a reflection of you you know you people open they see you working out of your van and it's a disaster you know they'll you know, people, we live in a very judgmental day and age, so, you know, I hope this helps some of you guys keep your stuff together. Maybe it'll give you some ideas how to do your, your shelves. You know, this was just, I just made these shelves with plywood, you know, and mounted them to the, to the van. And I kind of made them with the, you know story behind being able to store all my stuff you know with with all my stuff in mind you know if I had, I had this I had like these the mini stack just the three so that you know I made it nice to, for it to fit right there and for the, for the chop saw to sit at the back here but anyways I hope you like this video please uh, like some share give me a thumbs up comment uh, your thoughts and um, thanks for watching guys